Well, we have all been misled at some point while using GPS systems. If we're using them to reach a backcountry destination, going down the wrong road could result in an unwanted survival story. Tonight, Tammy Tremblay takes us to Boise County to show us why using GPS in our phone or car just really isn't reliable in remote areas. Idaho has beautiful remote areas to explore. Many of us depend on a global positioning system or GPS to reach them. Getting directions to Grimes Creek Road. We have so many routes. Uh, this is one of hundreds of routes that is on a GPS, but it's not passable by a vehicle in the in the winter. Boise County Sheriff Jim Kazmark took us down Grimes Creek Road. We stopped the truck before the road got difficult. Here's a good example of somebody who's gone through the maintenance. You don't know if they've got stuck back here or not. And then people who aren't familiar with the area or don't have the right equipment can look at this and see, well, somebody else did it. That's why he says you cannot rely on this technology, especially in the back country, even if it looks like someone else made it through. If you uh, mark the shortest route and sometimes even the main route up here, it's not the way to go. If your GPS fails, you could end up in a remote location with no help in sight and no idea of where you're going to go. You need to be prepared. Sheriff Kazmark says that planning starts before you even head out. I would talk to people that have been on the trails before, perhaps contact either the Forest Service Office or the Boise County Sheriff's Office and get information on the actual route that you're planning on. You also need to tell someone exactly where you'll be traveling. And say, I'm going to be going along this road to this destination. If you just say I'm going to be in the Idaho City area, you've got 2,000 square miles of wilderness. And that's a lot of area for a search and rescue operation. They happen out here weekly. And so they get stuck in the, in the mountains and we have to go get them. Those could be resolved in a matter of hours and we've had some that have been multi-day operations. Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue gets called in to help dozens of times every year. Well, the best thing is, is you want to stay with your car and if you have the ability to run your car you want to run it for a short period of time making sure the exhaust is clear of any snow so that you're at least warm and then could be sheltered from the elements. Christensen says you also should have a survival pack ready to go before hitting the backcountry, even if you're just planning to drive through it. You want to make sure you have appropriate clothing for it. Uh, you know, that's where not wearing cotton and wearing those synthetics and, and having the appropriate layers. And have navigation, a flashlight, sun protection, first aid and fire starting supplies. Don't forget food and water and some sort of insulation. Plus, Sheriff Kazmark says make sure you leave your cell phone on. Even if you don't have a cell phone signal, search and rescue and, and we have devices that can help pick up that signal. A lot to think about for a scenic backcountry drive in the gem state, but it could make all the difference. There's a rule of threes. You can live for three weeks without food, you can live for three days without water, uh, you know, you can live for three hours in extreme conditions without shelter, but three seconds, if you've at least prepared and you have the right equipment, those first three seconds are going to give you at least enough confidence to make the right decisions uh, as you start facing your situation. In Boise County, Tammy Tremblay, Idaho's News Channel 7.